attachment makes you feel that flavor. Only great attachment will lead you to Braja Rasa. Means you have to cut with other attachment. Everything will go and you are not attached there. This is the mercy of Swamini. Your great attachment becomes one-pointed because other place is not attractive to you now. Everything will come This is the beauty of Braja Rasa. <clears throat> Guru is speaking about Raga Bhakti. Only Raga Bhakti can bring us to Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, there is no Vairi Bhakti. Everything is Raga Bhakti. Great attachment. In Vairi Bhakti, we think first we have to purify ourselves. We have to detach, and then love will come. But in Raga Bhakti is opposite. We want to attach to Radha Mohan, and then everything will go. <laughs> Other things will go. <clears throat> by our attachment. That is one thing that I mostly appreciate of Gurudev, that he is only teaching positive way. He never focus on the fact that I'm not qualified, that I'm not pure, that I have so many anatas. He never speak much about that. He only say focus, <laughs> become one pointed. When you become one pointed, everything will go. Then he say, oh, I have no time to make stupid things because I'm absorbed in the service. So. This is the mercy of Swamini. Your great attachment becomes one-pointed because other place is not attractive to you now. Everything will come. This is the beauty of Braja Rasa. Only mercy can change my life. Please, if anyone you want to 
comment also. Gurudev, if you want to share something, please help us. <coughs> Without love, opulence is nothing. Gurudev always giving the example of the zero and the one. Everything is zero. All opulence is zero. You make one zero, two zero, three zero, five, four zero, everything stays zero. But if you put the one at first, then the zero be gets a meaning. The one is first. And one zero is ten, two zero become hundred, three zero become one thousand, like this. But without the one, without love, everything is only zero. Without love, opulence is nothing. Hmm. Means also that opulence is not bad thing. If you have love, <laughs> you can live in opulence also. Radharani can give everything to you. And you can use everything in the service. If you're not attached to material thing, if you are attached to Radharani, love is the highest opulence. I think Jesus also say like that. What is the use of all the wealth in the world if you have no love? <laughs> Without love, everything is zero. Love is the highest opulence. Opulence cannot tie you. Only love can. <clears throat> Vrindavan is a place to feel this. Lalita is controlling Krishna because she is an expansion of Radhika. And also Ananga Manjari is very important. She is always near to Radhika. Why we pray first to Guru Manjari? Because she is showing us all these things. She is introducing us. I think here Gurudev speaking about Diksha Mantras. 
<clears throat> First is Guru Manjari Mantra. Then Krishna Mantra, Radha Mantra. Then Lalita, Ananga Manjari, Rupa Manjari. So why we first pray to Guru Manjal? She will take me by the hand and introduce. I need to be under the umbrella of Guru Manjal. After Guru Manjari Mantra, Krishna Mantra is coming. Gopaya Mantra. <clears throat> Without taking shelter of Guru Manjari, and you going for Gopal Mantra and Kam Gayatri, what will happen? You will become Saki. <laughs> Not manjari, sake. Not taking shelter and manjari bath, not taking shelter and guru manjari. Then, oh Krishna, you are so attractive. You are Kama Deva. Then, I become sake. So before Gopa, before Krishna Mantra, we have to take shelter of Guru Manjari. Lalita. Sometimes we ask, why not Vishaka? Lalita more important than Vishaka? No. Vishaka is similar to Radharani, only one day older, same mood. But Lalita, <laughs> she is very heavy sometimes, controlling Krishna, stopping him. Without permission of Lalita, Radha Mohan cannot meet. And she can speak very heavy words to Krishna. <clears throat> Sometimes her eyes are red of anger when he's coming late. He will chastise him so heavy that he almost collapses. So Manjari need that mood also, <laughs> because sometimes we also have to stop him. Don't make easy for him, this naughty black boy. So I think from Lalita we learn that mood. And then Ananga Manjari. Gurudev saying here she is also very important. She is like checkpoint. Ananga Manjari sometimes behave like a Saki, sometimes serving like Manjari. When Radha Mohan are together, she serves like a manjari. Sometimes she's serving Krishna like Saki. So she knows both moods. And before we can enter to the Kunja, 
We have to be completely in Manjari Bhav. There cannot be a trace of desire to enjoy with Krishna myself. If there is a whiff of Saki Bhav, little desire, maybe I also want to meet Krishna, then we cannot go in the Kuru. Ananga Manjari, she can check that. And then Rupa Manjari, Mantra. Gurudev, you want to explain something, please? You explain very good. I'm very happy. Yananda Maharaj, you want to add something? Share. So very good. <clears throat> so just to, you know, I'm just uh, listening to your very sweet words. So, Gurudev say, only mercy can change my life. And then, this what is this mercy? Gora Chandra say, zero, many put zero, is zero. But the put on one, top is one, and then zero is meaningful. So, this mercy is, we may say, this put one, what is one? One point to our Ishtadev. And then by the mercy of Gurudev, by the mercy of Azabhajnava, we can fix this one point. Today we are reading a little bit uh, Bhagatam, a Gopi Gita's. And then, Krishna was disappear among the gopis. Actually, Krishna took Radharani. And then, Radharani was saying, e Shamasundara, I am tired. Please, please carry, carry on your shoulder, or something like that. And then Krishna said, yes, then disappear. And then Gopi was praying, praying, and uh, sing Gopi Gita. And then, finally, Gopi sings, praying Gopi Gita. And then, they start crying heavily. And then Krishna appeared. And then finally Krishna said, I cannot pay. I cannot pay your debt. You are doing so nicely. Give up family, give up Vedic uh, culture, you know. You give up everything. I cannot pay. I cannot repay you. And at that time, I think Vishwanatha Chakravati Thakur or maybe Jiva Goswami saying, actually, I cannot, because Krishna say, Ye Yataman Prapadante. According to your your surrendering attitude, I can reward. But the Krishna cannot do on the case of Gopi. Because Gopi was so one point to Krishna. But the Krishna is not one pointed. 
Krishna has many pointed. Because Krishna cannot give up devotees. Cannot, Krishna cannot give up father, mother, friend, or servant. Krishna cannot give up. So Krishna has many branch, many attention. But the gopis want attention for Mohan Krishna. And Manjari is one point for Radhika. So this is, I was thinking, only mercy can change my life. Only mercy of Gurudev, we can fix ourselves. One point. Our case is Manjari Baba. So this is, I was thinking, this mercy, what is mercy? <clears throat> many, we may say many mercy. Everything mercy. But uh, this point, fix ourselves one pointed. This is uh, mercy. And put on the head one. This also mercy. So then, <clears throat> Just, I feel, just, you know. So thank you very much. Yeah, very nice. One pointed. We have so many desires and so many goals in life. It's very difficult to lose the taste for all these different things. <laughs> so we need help to find only taste in becoming maid servant of Radharani. So the mercy is also that we get some feelings, that we start liking that, that we lose the interest for all the other things. Without that mercy is not possible to cancel all my different, different programs, <laughs> what I want to achieve in my life. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> okay. Why we pray first to Guru Manjari? Because she is showing us all these things. She is introducing us. When you block yourself, you become smelling. Because we are coming to the ugly form. This plastic body is smelling. We put perfume not to have too much bad smell. Come out from the body which is like this. We cannot use it. It is useless. Everything is stinky. When I get my spiritual body, then I am free from this. Everything will change. Uh, Gurudev always speaking about this plastic body, <laughs> like plastic, plastic body, and smelling. I mean, 
this is the power of Maya, I think. This is real magic. That we have so much attraction to that. To the opposite sex, for example. There's only this small covering of skin. No? But if you remove that, oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> All the meat and the blood and the bones and the digestion and it's horrible. But this thin skin cover everything and we are <laughs> very enchanted. <laughs> it's, uh, this is the power. <laughs> Maya. <laughs> magic. Somehow magic, I think. So, but yes, smelling. Then Gurudev say, this body is useless. Do I agree with that? Is Gurudev right? When he say, this body is useless? We need that body for sadhana. It's our tool. <laughs> we need it to do service, to do bhajan. So the body is not useless. But why Guru Dev say like that? Because Guru Dev, he's speaking from the level of Siddhi, <laughs> living in the Swarup. Realize I am. Dasi of Radha. Then you don't need that body anymore. Then it's useless. Oh. When Raghunath Das Goswami coming out from the Leela, coming out from <coughs> Swaru. He start crying in Sadakya. <laughs> Immediately he want to go back in Swaru. For this level, there is no purpose anymore for the material body. It become useless. <laughs> for Siddha, material body is useless. But for sadaka, we need that to come to level of perfection. Right, Gurudev? Very nice. <laughs> The purpose of taking so how to do develop our siddha there is spiritual because when I will leave my body, I know where to go, and everybody has to leave one day. Mm. One very nice message I see in English. You want to see that? Yes, Guru.
One very normal subject. Uh, maybe it's also because it's connected to the box. We have to um, give me. I think just to remove the Bluetooth. If you remove the Bluetooth. and sat down. At the next stop, a strong, grumpy young lady climbed up and sat down beside the old woman, hitting her with her numerous bags. When she saw that the elderly woman remained silent, Can you understand? the young woman asked her why she had huh? complained when she hit her with her bags. The elderly woman replied with a smile, there is no need to be rude or discuss something so insignificant, as our journey together is so short because I am going to get off at the next stop. This answer deserves to be written in gold letters. There is no need to discuss something so insignificant because our journey together is too short. Each of us must understand that our time in this world is so short, that darkening it with useless arguments, jealousy, not forgiving others, discontentment and bad attitudes are a ridiculous waste of time and energy. Did someone break your heart? Stay calm. The trip is too short. Did someone betray, intimidate, cheat, or humiliate you? Relax, don't stress, the trip is too short. Did someone insult you without reason? Shake it off, ignore it, the trip is too short. Did a neighbor make a comment that you didn't like? Take a deep breath, ignore him, her. Forgive and forget it, the trip is too short. Whatever problem someone has brought us, remember that our journey together is too short. No one knows the length of our trip. Nobody knows when it will arrive at its stop. Our trip together is short. Practical message. Practical. Don't accept disturbance. Do that. We waste our time in this. Do that. But this, we need intelligence to understand it. That is Chaitanya. Conscious. Conscious, yeah. Not to take the disturbance, stay in the flow. Simply, it's too soft. So, why do we cannot recognize what is disturbance to the other people? What is disturbance? Yes. This is louder. She said that it's in our condition, sometimes we cannot uh, differentiate, differentiate between disturbance and the good thing. Because condition. 
because we are conditioned to this. That's the point. Answer is behind the mind. So we are conditioned so we don't understand. We have to come out from discovering of condition. See, it's true self. Yeah. If we don't disturb ourselves, our nature, our nature can come through, and automatically things will start happening. Then my condition is gone. I condition myself to block. Then I don't understand that my dream is very long. Then you have to change the past. <laughs> take, take another trip. I think what this message, no, is YouTube video or what? Um, yeah, something like this. Who would have got it as a message? But it's it's like a video, yes, with 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 text spoken. It looks like a like a YouTube video or something, or maybe something like it's this short, something like that. Yeah, right, like that. So I think <laughs> What is talking about the subject? Somebody coming and scratching my ego. <laughs> Scratch my ego, and then I become angry. Actually, this is very suitable to the topic that we had before with the mercy. We get the mercy, the one. We should focus on the one. But um, if somebody is coming to disturb me and I am getting distracted with anger, jealousness, or whatever, then I forget about the one and I, I put the zero as important. No? And this is the Chaitanya and the, and the intelligence that we need to develop to start really. This is my, my that, that was the topic in the last day, and I hear it again and again. This is my message from, from this Vrindavan state that in my state, I, I need to develop this consciousness that I don't forget the one when these disturbances are coming. And if this is done, then really Bhajan and, and everything will, I think it will happen automatically. It will continue. Uh, to continue to grow automatically and 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 we get deeper and deeper but don't forget about the one and and don't catch the zeros and play with the zeros this is kind of a i think our samskaras need to be overwritten that we can under that we really can get this as a as a natural behavior without without having to meditate on it oh i should not go into argument if you have to meditate it will be already too late because you are already angry and you're already into it but it should be our nature that we just forgive we, we just think, oh, it's a short trip. Why to worry? This is my 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 thought process that I had over the last days. That I want to come to this point, and I'm praying for this. You are right, Balaramji. That is our practice. We have the samkaras, no? Something will come and trigger us, and then we react 
always in our old way. And we have to learn, react in new way. Like Gurudev sometimes say, we have to make a new, uh, when you take a song and we have to make a new line. Mm. But we always go back in the old deep line. Actually, this is what, what Gurudev is, is, is expert. Because we can read this 100,000 times <coughs> and it will not affect our, our behavior. But we have to go. Now Vrindavan is lost. Or? Radha Charan, we lost, we lost Vrindavan, right? We couldn't lose Vrindavan. It's not possible. Just internet. They, they will soon come, I, I hope. Okay. I think the subject what Balaram talking, finally, it is only possible if we start living in our real identity. In our real ego. If we not do that, then automatic we always go back in false ego. And in false ego, someone always will come and scratch my ego. And then it comes again and I waste my time with arguing, fighting with others, like in this clip that Balaram shared. This trip, bus trip, is very short, this life. Why to waste the time with and energy with fighting and arguing and not forgiving others, keeping the pain? Yeah. But finally, only possible if we start living in our Real identity. Okay, let's read something more. When I get my spiritual body, then I am free from this. Stinky plastic body. Everything will change. This material world and consciousness this material world and consciousness will only use you and slap you. You want that? Go for your sadhana. Other things are only wasting time. This is mercy. To open your eyes are your real friends. They show you the real way. Sri Guru is the only friend. <laughs> Shri Guru is not conditioned soul. So. 
everyone else is conditioned so nobody can help me everyone and is i think that that is also uh, connecting to the point before that he is able Ah, oh, what to do? Yeah, I feel like that. Gurudev is my only real friend. We have friends, we help each other, we are brothers and sisters, we support each other. But nobody can make me really free from this material circumstances. Nobody really can guide me to the goal. Nobody will say to me, Hey, Gorachandra, improve yourself. Only Gurudev, because he takes the responsibility to be teacher. So, I feel like that. Who open your eyes are your real friends. They show you the real way. I don't want to get the next life to have this. This is the life to get serious. No waste of time. Why time is money? Because it is mercy to have this time in your life. Never search other things that you don't need. Then somebody will throw you out. Use this time that you are healthy to do something in life. You have to be watchful. Our physical life will go up and down. But we have to watch from outside. Live in our Swarup. In good and bad times, we have to be in balance. When we watch from inside to out, we are in balance.
Every day read Bhagavad Gita 12th chapter. It is about the mood of devotion. Who will go and explain about the spiritual deha, our spiritual body? It is Mahaprabhu's mercy that we know about this real body of my soul. Mahaprabhu came to give Raga Bhakti. He came to give Vrindavan, mood of Vrindavan. And especially he came to give Manjari Bhav. Only once in a day of Brahma, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. Every 1000 Kali years. He is coming to give Raga Bhakti in mood of Vrindavan. All other Kali yugas. Also, Yuga Dharma is Sankirtan, chanting the names, but everything is in Vaidhi Bhakti. The goal is Vaikuntha. Only every thousand Kali Yugas, Mahaprabhu coming, <laughs> giving Raga Bhakti, giving Manjari Bhava. And Raga Bhakti, you need spiritual body. If you have love for Krishna like a mother, you need a body of a mother. Spiritual body. In Raga Bhakti, you need spiritual body. In Manjari Bhakti, you need Manjari. Spiritual Manjari body to serve Radha and Radha Mohan. So if Mahaprabhu came to give that, then of course it's his mercy <laughs> that we know about that. That Goswamis speak about that. Writing books about that. That Prabhupada came to Western countries and introduced Bhagavad Gita. And writing everything, page four, introduction, Swarup and Swarup City. Jai Gauranga. It is Mahaprabhu's mercy that we know about this real body of my soul. Radha Rasa Mahima. What is Radha Rasa? And what is the glory? Who will explain? 
what you understand about this after 30, 40 years of practicing. You say it's too high. What is too high? Means you have no desire, no greed. <laughs> Prema Rasa. What is that Prema Rasa? That is very beautiful. Very beautiful point. If you think it's too high for me, then you have no real greed. If you really have greed, then you don't care about your qualification. I, sorry. I know I'm not qualified. I know I'm not pure, but anyway, I want it. So please give me. <laughs> so, Narayan Maharaj writing also this. If you care about circumstances, then you, you don't have real greed. If you have, if you have real greed, desire for that, then you don't care. And it's true. I listen. Some people, they also practice bhakti. They know manjari is the goal. They know why Mahaprabhu came. But still they believe, ah, we cannot speak openly about that. We cannot practice that. It's too high. First, we have to do sadhana and purification process, and then we can touch this highest subject. It only showing one point, like Gurudev said, <laughs> no real greed is there. If you would have real greed for that, you would not care about that. I need now. I want now. I don't care. Purification, purification. Always I think, ah, it's too high. I'm not pure. I will touch this subject in the future. <laughs> this future will never come. So we need that greed. Now we need that. <clears throat> and greed is the only thing we need. Nothing else. And without greed, nothing will happen. What is Radha Rasa? And what is the glory? Who will explain what you understand about this after 30, 40 years of practicing?
Sometimes Gurudev speaking to very senior Vaishnavas who were long time in Iskun, like Suniti also, Goranga Sunda, Jayananda Maharaj. Twenty years already practiced bhakti, but in Iskon nobody touched the subject. What is the real goal? So, but they are very fortunate because they were not satisfied with the answers. They knew the final goal, ultimate goal is something else. And they don't stop searching. You see where they went? Jayananda Maharaj, Sumiti, searching, searching. Gora Govinda Maharaj, Narayan Maharaj, Sadhu Maharaj, like this, no? Oh, I need my real goal. Twenty years I'm doing an ISKCON, but nobody can teach me, nobody can give you real goal. So because of this, I always say, the Japanese devotees, they are so fortunate. But they don't understand that. We have to say again, again, again. They starting from the goal. Every new devotee in Japan immediately get the teaching, what is the final goal? Dasi of Radharam, maid servant. That is big mercy, big blessing. Maybe you think it's normal because you don't know other things. <laughs> but this is new. This is very rare. There's no one else like Gurudev Sarumara who openly speak this to Western people. I don't know anyone right now speaking this, explaining that. Jai Ravi. Someone else want to share something, please? You say it's too high, what is too high? Means you have no desire. Prema rasa, what is prema rasa? Jesus also knew about prema rasa. Dying for his father. Mahaprabhu is Radhika. And he wants to open all his feelings in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Jai Ho. <laughs> we can enter in this rasa. We are so fortunate.
it depends on your mood, how you see Mahaprabhu. If you are a devotee of Krishna, then Mahaprabhu for you is Krishna, or incarnation of Krishna and Kali. Feelings of Radharani, but he is Krishna. And some they say, oh yeah, Radha Krishna combination, same. Both are there, equal. Like you see Krishna only Visham Sneha. You see Radha and Krishna, <laughs> same, Sam Sneha. Or you only you see Radha Rani in Mahaprabhu. You only see the mood and the feelings. Adik Sneha, only my Radharani. So if you see like that, then you see like Gurudev. Mahaprabhu is Radhika. And he wants to open all his feelings in Chaitanya Charitamrita. We can enter in this rasa. We are so fortunate. I think also in Chaitanya Charita Amrita, you can see the same thing happening. When he is a Nimai, young boy in Navadvi, then mood of Krishna is prominent. No, he is very naughty, very proud. He is a big scholar, mocking everyone with Gadatha, always mocking him. It's more no humbleness, don't want to become devotee. Everyone is worried, everyone is praying. Oh, Mahaprabhu, we love you so much. Oh, Nimai, we love you so much, but why he cannot become devotee? Shriva's feeling the pain. Gadatha feeling the pain. Oh, I only have this desire that Nimai become devotee. After Mahaprabhu get initiation, then his mood change. He become humble. He becomes sweet, he becomes devotee. Radharani becomes more prominent. Uh, also going up, his mood going up, up. And then Puri, only Radharani, completely absorbed. There is no Krishna in him, totally Radharani. So you can also see in the life of Mahaprabhu how his mood are changing <laughs> and how his bhajan <laughs> go more deep. We are so fortunate. Love is the only way to take out the sin in Kali Yuga. Your homework will make you to create something.
Love is the only way to take out the sin in Kali Yuga. Bhakti. Kali Yuga, only Bhakti is working. Jnana is not working. Yoga is not working. Yes, yes, yes. Only Bhakti is working in Kali Yuga. Purification is not <laughs> working in <laughs> Kali Yuga. We need unconditional love. Only unconditional love is working in Kali Yuga. We are so fallen, everything is so impure, it's impossible to become pure, to remove the anatas by ourselves. Nobody can do real sadhana. We are normal. <laughs> so we need unconditional love. Only love. Can take out everything in Kali. Nitai. Jagayan Maran. Nita is going door to door, knocking on the door. The people open and he say, chant, <laughs> chant names of Goranga, chant Hare Krishna. Take it, just take the mercy. He not asking. Ah, you are qualified. You are pure. Then I can give you. <laughs> no, giving. Prabhupada, only giving, giving, giving. We are so fortunate, only love can take out everything in Kali. Waiting for the meeting, it is also an austerity. Time is not coming for looking at each other. That is also austerity. Never say that I need to rush for that meeting. Only waiting is there. Gurudev says to the disciples, you have to do austerities. You have to wait. No need to rush. You do your duty. Time will come to you. The moment will come in your life. Austerity is important for the meeting. It 
in love, austerity is important. Austerities are also ever fresh. Every moment Radhika is ready to do austerities. She does austerities to escape from Jatila and Kutila. She does austerities in rainy times, going on muddy roads. She does austerities when she comes all obstacles to the Kunja and Krishna has not come. She is waiting like anything in the night time. Night is going on. And after a few hours, she feels that I have no time. I have to go back. But Krishna is not here. Swamini says that time is going to be over. And in that moment, Krishna enters the Kunja and her eyes start dancing after these austerities. This is her one-pointed program. Only Krishna is the goal for her. She is ready to take all the pain. She is ready to wait. Gurudev also speaking here about bhajan, how to, how to do bhajan. Waiting, waiting. Waiting, waiting, when, when, when this one name will come that change my life. Uh. Next name, Hare Krishna. Ah, uh. no, next, Hare Krishna. Uh. Ah, maybe next, Hare Krishna, waiting, waiting, waiting. When the name will come, the one name that changed my life. Gurudev say, waiting is also art. It's art to learn how waiting because our pot is very small. 
our pot is small and weak, not very strong. But when love is coming, when the tsunami <laughs> is coming, we need big pot, strong pot. We have to be prepared to receive prema. If prema come now, we would die. Our heart is not soft enough. Our heart is not flexible enough. <laughs> it will break immediately. So we have to prepare our heart make it soft, make it strong, make it flexible. So that means waiting, waiting, waiting. And then one day, one drop will come. So and uh, how we learn that? Watching Radharan, how she is waiting. After Krishna left Vrindavan, she waiting for more than 100 years. Every day. She want to die out of separation. But she cannot die because some hope keeps her. Ah, maybe he come back. Maybe he come back tomorrow. Then again she survived one day. Then again she think, maybe he come back tomorrow. More than 100 years. She knows how to wait. And she is waiting for the happiness of Krishna. She thinks if he come back, And he want to see me. But I am not here. Maybe he can become a little sad. Oh, I don't want that he become sad if he come back and I am not here. So... She is doing bhajan also, absorbed in feelings of separation. <laughs> and she's waiting and waiting and waiting. So we learn from Radharani everything. In Prema Samputta, Radharani is explaining about Prema. Something. If there are many problems, 
in the life of Radharani. If there are many difficulties, many obstacles, but there is a chance that she can meet Krishna, then all these problems and difficulties and obstacles become a great pleasure for him. Smiling, she takes that because ah, I can meet him, no problem. So all negative things become positive. She overcome everything because at the end she can meet Krishna. In the opposite way, when everything looks nice, fortunate, there are no problems, happy life, but there is no chance to meet Krishna. Then all the good things, all the auspicious things are the source of immense pain. All problems, difficulties, obstacles become the source of bliss when she can meet him. <laughs> that, that is her brain. So we also can learn that. Gurudev here and also he spoke about we have to be balanced in good and bad times in our life. Material life always go up, down, up, down. Have to learn to be balanced like Krishna teaching in second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. Maybe we stop here today. Little more. Little <laughs> Yes, will be. Only Krishna is the goal for her. The Kinkari is watching that. How she is happy by looking at Krishna. In that way, the kinkari becomes very much in ecstasy of her seva. Kinkaris are learning from Swamini how she is happy.
Her eyes are talking. Her eyebrows are dancing. The most beautiful and qualified are Radhika's eyes. Why? Because she has the one point program. We have so many goals in our life. Why not we can become kinkers? Because my eyes are not fixed like Swamini's. Our eyes are not fixed in my Swamini. Many desires, not one pointed desire in my life. We have to come in one desire, one point program. What the maid servant has to desire to fix the eyes in Swamini's happiness. I will wait and wait. A long time for that. But I have no other desire in my life. Patience means tolerance. I am waiting for you. I am not in a rush. I will cry myself, but I will not talk about that. I will suffer myself. But I will not share with anyone. But I will wait for you because I cannot think outside of you. This is patience. I will suffer. I will live with full pain in my suffering. Tears can come from my eyes, but it is my feelings of love that are come. It is my happiness. In those tears, there is no suffering. Your remembrance does not make me suffer because I live in that happiness. That one day will come that I will see you. That is patience.
the gopis have full patience. They don't want to die because Krishna will come. They put the makeup every day because when Krishna will come, then he will see why not my hair is nicely made or I am not dressed nicely. Only for the pleasure of Krishna, their actions are for that. Yeah. Gopis also, like Radharani, waiting every day. Krishna, maybe he return. <laughs> and every day they prepare for meeting. Dressing, makeup, hair, every day. Maybe he will come. No. We have to be prepared also. <laughs> One day, Radharani want to come to see me. I have to be prepared for that. And until that, we have to wait and wait and wait. But Gurudev say, I will take the pain, I will suffer, I will cry. But this is not material suffering. This is my love. There is relishment in this feelings. The tears are cooling. Love and separation. Like drinking nectar and poison together. <laughs> this is um, Radha Rasa, Prema Rasa. Jai Radhe. I think here we will stop now. <laughs>